Welcome to this guitar lesson on intervals. <laughs> I'm Damon Ferrante. Welcome to the Guitar Scales Handbook video lessons. These are a series of free video lessons that correspond with the materials presented in the book. The videos cover a range of subjects including technique, music theory, and forming good practice habits. In this video we're going to look at intervals and they're going to be two parts. In the first part I'm going to play some famous songs that you might recognize and themes and I'll identify the intervals and you'll be able to get a sense of the characteristics of each interval. And then in the second part we're going to look at kind of the music theory behind intervals. In this section we're going to talk about intervals. Intervals are the distances between any two notes in music. In guitar tone terms that means if I play an A here and then a D here, that's an interval that's called a perfect fourth. If I play the same A and I play an E, that's a perfect fifth. Here are some examples of the most common intervals. The minor second is the smallest. That's the distance between one fret and the next fret from E to C. And it sounds a little like the Jaws theme. A major second is composed of two minor seconds. And it's it's kind of a distance when you play with red like C to a D here, and there's the C sharp in between. So, minor second, another minor second, that's a major second. <laughs> the first notes of the chorus of Cliff of Dover, that's a major second. A minor third, you might recognize that as the first two notes of Stairway to Heaven. Major third, you might recognize as a very common kind of blues bass line. This, that's a major third. Okay. A perfect fourth is Mozart. These first two notes. Perfect fourth. Perfect fifth and a diminished fifth are. Uh, Sound like this in Joseph. This is a perfect fifth. Here's a diminished fifth. Joseph Schrani's Ice Nine. Okay. It's important to learn the basic intervals to improve your guitar playing. It'll expand your creativity and give you a better sense of the fretboard. Here are some of the basic intervals. At and I'm going to show the music notation with them. So here's a minor second. Here's a major second. Here's a minor third. Here's a major third. Here's a perfect fourth. Here's a diminished fifth. Here's a perfect fifth. Here's a minor sixth. Here's a major sixth. Here's a minor seventh. Here's a major seventh. And finally, here's the octave. Now on your own, try to locate these by ear throughout the guitar fretboard. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned some new things about intervals. If you're interested in hearing some guitarists that use intervals in wild and imaginative ways, you might want to check out Steve Vai, Andy Summers, and Robert Fripp. Also, feel free to subscribe to this channel. You'll receive notices about free guitar ebooks and lesson videos.